The origin of the evil Emperor Frieza is one of the great mysteries in Dragon Ball. Officially, we do not even know where he came from or what it was like for him as a child. But there is one creator, a fan much like ourselves, who sought answers where there weren't any. Realizing this, she set out to create a story to fill in this enormous gap. And over the last year, millions of viewers have enjoyed this captivating origin story. We have seen the young emperor experience many hardships and most recently, adopt a most unexpected friendship with a Saiyan child. Today, we dial back the clock to witness the birth of Frieza's older brother, Cooler, first son of King Cold, and the one who was supposed to inherit the Arcosian Empire. This is the fifth chapter of Lady Tigri's Unguarded, The Origin of the Emperor. Look, it's a male, Your Majesty. Do you have a name chosen yet, my queen? He certainly is large for a newborn, but healthy. His grace should be pleased. Yes, when he has a chance to see his son. Ah, my lady, his grace has been so busy. I'm sure he did not mean to be late. We have a name chosen. We... I decided to call him Cooler. After the late king? It fits. His grace will surely like it. He didn't have much input on what to call him. Oh, well, when you're ready, let me take him. He needs some time on the thermal pad after he's eaten. M my queen? Nova, would you deny me the chance to see my son? I thought you were busy. Is he healthy? The doctors say that he is healthy. His name is Cooler. Please let me have him, Cold. He needs to eat. In a moment, he looks more like my side of the family. He has promise. Promise? Forgive me, I do not understand. For training, battle. I can already see that if we begin early, he will make a good fighter. I thought we were going to make peace with our enemies. Would making war be a wise choice? I was not the one who put on aggressive airs, Nova. Our son will be an asset when it becomes necessary to protect ourselves. It sounds as if you want to begin a conflict. If you do not protect what is yours in this world, you will lose it. That is also what I intend to teach him. I want to teach him to be compassionate, to be a diplomat rather than a fighter, unless it's necessary. Then you and I see things differently. One day, I hope you understand that is not how the world works and I will need you in our chambers as soon as you are able. He needs to be formally recognized as the heir. Again, all I can see of him is his back. My contact tells me that the only way to facilitate his sane companion's progress would be to expose them to a full moon. He used those exact words, did he? His diction may have been a bit more, uh, monosyllabic, but yes. I take it you contacted me to tell me you have found a more convenient solution to this issue. We're working on it. We're working on it? That sounds like a no. I can't hasten the lunar cycle, father. We have begun dissecting the Tuffle technology to see- You're trusting this barbarian superstitions? I saw the transformation myself. But I could ask the scientist to verify his claims through additional testing, else... And while they tinker, what progress do you intend to make? Have you even formulated a plan? Or do I need to return to this planet to handle this assignment myself? I'm... I'm aware. Speak up, boy. I'm aware this will delay your schedule, and I have taken steps to ensure an alternative. Enlighten me. I'm meeting with a soldier whose team will handle the current workload. I will remain here to continue augmenting the role of the Saiyans. That is hardly ideal. But I suppose it is better than sitting on your hands while we waste money. Where is your brother? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Don't touch me. Thank you for the berries. 
food. I said, thank you for the berries. What's your name? Yeah. You don't know who I am? I am Lord Frieza, second son of the mighty King Cold of Arcos, destroyer of the Pion, sire of the great dust seas of Examen. Oh, I'm Sekiryu. That is the most pretentious name I have ever heard. <gasps> Does that mean lovely? Hmm, I'm hungry. I'm getting breakfast. <coughs> Hurry up! You're going back to the base? Of course, where else would I go? What are you waiting for? I think I'll stay here. You're refusing me? I like being outdoors, that's all. I can't understand why. Still, I would prefer to eat this sentry, so I will humor your poor taste. Well, we could find another fruit tree. I don't like fruit. We could catch fish. Too much work. Maybe I could find some vegetables to dig up. Do you have any suggestions that aren't dumb? Well, I don't know what's out here or what you like. You don't have to be so crabby. Eh, I'm not being... Follow me. This should be an ideal place. What are we doing? Didn't you want breakfast? Yes. That's what we're doing. What are you doing? We're looking for crabs. Come on, you're helping. Is it real deep? No, stop stalling. Hang on. I haven't done this in years. Not since I was around your... Ready? Why are you naked? I have no clothes on. Why do you have no clothes on? They're the only ones I have. Do I even have to ask? What? Why did you take your clothes off? I can't go in there with clothes. I did get dressed. You took your cape off. Only my cape. I don't have others if something happens to these. Don't walk at me while you're naked. At least put your tunic back on. Ugh, fine. Okay, I'm dressed. Can we eat now? We have to catch food first. This water isn't deep enough for big fish. Not fish. We're catching these. Water spiders? They're called crabs. Ugh. You've never even had them. So? They're good. Here. Ugh. Watch the claws, they pinch. If you're not going to help, find somewhere to put the ones that I catch. Uh, oh, okay. When I was around your size, my mother and I would come out here and do this. It was my favorite. What did you do? I used your cape to make a big bag. You can't make a net out of my cape. Can't so. It was easy. I took a vine to hold it closed and then... Fine. I suppose I'll have to have it cleaned now. It will be okay because it's silk from Silfgard. I'm aware... How do you know what Silver Guardian silk is? This isn't that silk? It is. Oh. Newfie wears it. What's a Newfie? She minds me. Doing a wonderful job of it. Truly exemplary. She's not here. They made her stay on the other planet. What a tragedy. Yeah. Do you want to know how I met her? I'll pass. How do you know the common tongue? Huh? Explain. It doesn't make any sense. What doesn't make sense? Are you being intentionally daft? The other Saiyans don't know the language. How are you, whom they see as a weakling, privileged with fluency? Oh. That's because... <coughs> because what? I didn't catch that. If you don't want to tell me, say so. You don't have to be so dramatic. My boy. You are being incredibly rude. Stop ignoring me. Are you done? <coughs> Pathetic. No wonder the other apes beat you up. You saved me! Ugh, that really hurt. Um. What was that anyway? Do you always faint when you feel pain? I didn't faint, but when someone squeezes my tail like that, it makes my whole body hurt. I can't move it hurts so much. So why don't you transform? I don't know what you mean. I know for a fact that your species can transform into giant monkeys. Uh... Is it magic? Do you learn when you're bigger? I have no idea what you're talking about. Can only strong Zanes do it? Is that why the others pick on you? Are you going to try the crabs or not? Hmm. 
What's the problem? It's looking at me. I don't want to eat something with a face. <laughs> there, no more face. What? <laughs> Little Ingrate, you're welcome. Is lunch over? What are you doing? Are we leaving? We aren't doing anything. I'm going to get this stench clean from my cape. You're going back to the base? Trading market. Oh. Can I come? Please, 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 can I come? Fine, you may go. Surely someone will be interested in trading some wine for a talking monkey. I'm hungry. Is it a long walk? I wouldn't know. I'll be flying the... What do you think you're doing? Why well, I can't fly. If not wine, then perhaps some fish. Is it much farther? Can you read? It wouldn't even have, have to be good fish. Did you learn from your Alien mom tuna? or your dad? Do you go Maybe even Dale's soul from we'll Shama be wouldn't be dark, bad. Right? Arcos, age 707. <laughs> hmm. Look, father, I hit the target. You didn't hit the target properly. I didn't? I thought I got close to the middle. You were close, but you still did it incorrectly. Step aside. I will show you what you should have done. Wow! How did you do it, Father? I focused my energy and aimed. But I can't do that. Do you think I'll be able to someday? I don't know. You take after your mother's side when it comes to your talent. I thought extra attention and training would repair the matter, but thus far it hasn't worked. You sound angry, father. I am not angry. Disappointed, perhaps, but the fault is not yours. With more time together, you may yet improve. Mother, did you see what father just did? Yes. You did your best, Cooler. That is what matters. I want to be strong, just like Father. My Queen, Kula needs to go inside and eat. I need to speak with you alone. Go inside, son. You sound angry. No. We will return inside shortly. He is not progressing as I had hoped. Perhaps not. But is speaking to him that way really going to help his confidence? In what way? As if he's lesser. He's only a child. At the moment. But he is growing, and soon enough, he won't be a child any longer. But perhaps you are correct. I should endeavor to be less harsh with his failures. We should work together to raise him properly. He belongs to both of us. The conflicts we have been experiencing have gone on longer than I would have liked. The people are beginning to gossip. Whenever these failures arise, the kingdom will blame its rulers. Every aspect of it is not your fault. We should go inside. The boy will be waiting. Special thanks to my friends Adrienne, Rogue Mythos, and SSJ Goshen 4 for lending their amazing voice talent to this chapter of Unguarded. Please support them and find them at their social media links below. And of course, thank you to the incomparable Lady Tigri, the creator of the story, without whom this would have been impossible. If you would like to read more of this amazing story on your own, please head over to Lady Tigri's website or webtoons down below and follow her at all the social media links as well. To support the ongoing production of this special project, please head over to Lady Tigri's Patreon and pledge your support. Even a little bit goes a long, long way. And finally, if you would like me to cover more of this story on the channel, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you Saiyan monkeys in the next video.